The Bitcoin halvening is right around the corner, so this video is going to show you everything you need to know and why is it so important. First off, hi, my name is Rick Crypto. If you're new to my channel, I go over crypto news, top coins you should be keeping an eye on, and current trends going on in cryptocurrency. If you haven't already, you're going to start hearing a lot of the major newscasts talk about the Bitcoin halving. This is because a lot of institutions with the Bitcoin ETF launching are going to start letting their clients know why Bitcoin is the savior for their portfolios. This has been confirmed with BlackRock launching their Bitcoin Access Made Easy seminar for education that will be going on tomorrow. But let's go ahead and get the definition out of the way for the Bitcoin halving. A real quick Google search leads us to every 2100 blocks or roughly every four years, miners' rewards are cut in half. This phenomenon is referred to as the Bitcoin halving. The purpose of the Bitcoin halving is to maintain the currency scarcity and value while managing the inflation rate. As it stands at the day of this filming, we are 69 days away from the Bitcoin halving. As the definition said, the Bitcoin miners' rewards are being cut in half. But what does that look like? So at the time of the first halving, which we'll take a look at here in a little while, in 2009, when the halving happened, the Bitcoin miners were receiving 50 Bitcoin. By the time, as it mentioned, four years later, approximately, it was cut in half to 25. Again, halving down to 12.5. This is where we're sitting right now at 6.25. These are the current rewards that they're receiving for their effort. And the projected time frame right now is in late April. It's going to get cut again down to 3.125. So this is why when you start hearing in the news when Bitcoin price really starts to sink, that miners start selling off because it becomes unprofitable for them to start mining cryptocurrency. And this starts turning the entire mining space in which a lot of people are afraid of, of a monopoly of these larger companies coming in and buying up the mom and pop shops that are just mining Bitcoin out of their basements or wherever they may be. That it, the energy bill to run the mining rigs is costing more than the actual miners are performing. Now, why does this get the Bitcoin holders extremely excited around the Bitcoin halving? If we take a real quick look at this chart, you can see starting back in 2013, a year before Bitcoin up 385%, and then a year later, it went up 8,000%. The following year halving, we went up 142% a year before the halving, and a year after up to 84. And this last one, 37, and up 538. Now, the trend here is these are getting cut by more than half, if not exactly half, each having so this next bull run will not be as grandstanding unless you're michael saylor or other people that are bitcoin maxis but it's definitely a positive sign to see this momentum upward around the having with the having projected to be around april how has bitcoin performed during the month of april in the month of april bitcoin has historically performed amazingly well starting out back in 2013 up 50 percent then down one and a half percent down three percent up seven in the next two years it was up over 60 percent and then another two years up again another 60 percent down two percent down 17 with the last april being two so you can see historically when we have a lower gain the following year is a pretty decent good month. But this is April all through Bitcoin's history. How did it perform specifically on the years of the Bitcoin halving? In the halving in 2012, Bitcoin went up half a percent. In 2016, that April halving, 25%. And in the last April of the halving, we were down a little less than 2%. So the takeaway is, Right after the Bitcoin halving, Bitcoin does predominantly very well. As we take a macro look at Bitcoin's price action through the halvings, we can see at the 
first halving, 12 point, you know, 22 cents. We had one, two big spikes to the top of the market and then sold out and kind of petered out until the next halving. Then we have second halving ramped up. This time we had two big spikes, well, three truly, and then petered out and slowed out. As we move over to trading view, you can see that right after the third halving, Bitcoin had one, two, three pumps as well, and then is sold off. And we've just started a little bit earlier before the halving, making a second run of it. So my projections moving up into the halving is that we will most likely consolidate between 35 and 45 up until the halving. You're probably asking yourself, what's causing Bitcoin to go up so much after the halving? Well, this is the most direct way Bitcoin having impact price comes down to simply supply and demand. Now, if you've been out of school for a while like me, you want to know what does this supply and demand chart look like? So the blue line we have is supply, down line is demand. Rem remember, with Bitcoin, there's only ever going to be 21 million Bitcoin, ever. In the history of Bitcoin, there's never going to be any more Bitcoin mined after 21 million. So this blue line is never going to go anywhere, but the demand is. We've seen institutional investments. We have BlackRock, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, pushing out a educational seminar tomorrow. So as demand rises and supply as the miners aren't able to mine as much, the price is, as long as we keep getting the demand there, will inevitably rise. So there you have it. That is why... Bitcoin having is going to be such a major and important event for the crypto community and ecosystem. I hope you've enjoyed this video about the Bitcoin having. If so, go ahead and make sure to give this video a like. But until next time, my name is Rick Crypto and I'll see you then.